Hi, my name is Luis. I just finished my master's thesis here at the University of Florida Tropical Research and Education Center. This is the experimental site and basically what we are studying here is capillary rise of groundwater and its contribution to the soil water retention in the unsaturated zone. Um, the experimental site comprehends of mainly four different soil conditions. Uh, first, we have soil conditions with and without trees. In this case, we use lychee trees to uh, simulate the uh, conditions of tropical fruits of the South uh, Miami agricultural area. And also, we have trench and non-trench conditions, which comprehend most of the tropical crops are grown in trench conditions, meaning that they break up the limestone in dimensions about 60 centimeters wide. Uh, deep and about 40 centimeters wide. So this is the experimental site. We were tracking soil water and groundwater levels during a period of about six months in a 15 minute interval with scans and level logger pressure transducers. And uh, you can see here the main two differences about the soil conditions when we have trees and we have no trees. On the right side, you have the trenched and non-trenched conditions where there are rows of scans measured in soil water. Uh, this row that's in front of the solar panel is a trench condition which is a, a trench filled with chrome soil and on the other side it's a row in non-trench conditions with which uh, is a limestone bedrock which uh, about a shallow 15 centimeter layer of chrome. This is the same system as this one with the difference that we have lychee trees of about 15 years old. And uh, we were tracking soil water content and see, trying to see the differences of capillary effects. Uh, uh, also, how different does the root growth development and the structure changes and contributes to the capillary effect in both 